I started my career as a uh, music teacher in New York City, as a junior high school music teacher. And at um, one summer I was hired as a pianist to travel with Harry Belafonte for his group. And on returning to New York, after a couple of weeks of teaching, I got a full-time offer from him. I would leave the school system and come to work for him, which I did very happily. I started out as his pianist in the band, and I became assistant conductor, arranger, and then finally his conductor. I traveled with him and worked with him for about five years until I was fired. It was very lucky for me that he fired me because I went on to become very successful and earn lots of money in my own name, whereas if I weren't fired, I would have done the same for him, bringing in artists for recording and for writers for publishing. So the best thing that ever happened to me was uh, his firing me. I was arranging and producing records, and I specialized in the folk music scene when it happened. And my major artists were Chad Mitchell Trio, The Brothers Four, Peter, Paul, and Mary, and out of the Chad Mitchell trio, eventually John Denver, when the folk scene collapsed, I recorded individuals from the groups. The only one who was successful was John. So I worked with him for the rest of his career. And the last artist I worked for as a record producer was the opera singer Placido Domingo. Since, I'm a, since I was a child, I loved opera. In popular music, where I made my living was, was work. But my heart was in classical music and opera. And I met him one night was, uh, at a Grammy dinner. The Grammys were then televised from Los Angeles, and we were in New York, and RCA invited me to the dinner. And I was up for um, arranging and producing a record called The Belafonte Singers Sing Something or Other. And at the table was Mr. Domingo, who was quite young at the time. And he was up for an album that I knew of, Duets with Leontine Price, one of the most beautiful albums ever made. All these years later, I still listen to it several times a year. My record never sold 10 copies, was never on the radio, was a total stiff. And yet we won the Grammy for Best Folk Recording of the Year. And his masterpiece didn't win. That got me to thinking and um, eventually I heard him um, sing and he was truly the best singer I'd ever heard. And uh, at the time, I was doing very, very well as a producer. Denver had, at one point, three albums in the top five in the country, and I thought I was pretty big. And I thought I could make a classical hit out of Domingo. So I tried to reach him, and I tra trailed him, tailed him for five years. And I'd go to London when... My kids were in school, and then I'd go there when he was at Covent Garden. I'd go to San Francisco when he was there, go to the Met, and try to meet with him, tell him my ideas for a record. And he kept putting me off. I think he thought I was some kind of overage groupie. And, um, but finally, at my wife's suggestion, I wrote him a letter, gave him my credits, and told him my ideas for an album. And he called me, and we started recording. And... Uh, he still is, I think, probably the greatest singer of his century. <laughs>